Say Mojo Homestead. We have a fun project this week. I'm excited. Yes. We're I've, taking the plunge. Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting forever for what we're getting ready to have. Yes. It's been on my list for a long time. It has been. So we're going to be working on that project. Those of you who have been following us, we just want to thank you for being part of our YouTube family. And those of you that are new, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Welcome. We would love for you to join our YouTube family, and that's just simply subscribing and following along on our journey. We also have a Facebook group. I don't know, have we mentioned that here yes. yet? Okay. Um, called Homesteading from Scratch. And we it's a great place to kind of bounce around ideas and learn all things homesteading. So let's get started. All right, guys, it's the next day. We're gonna finish this project up. Uh, got a little unexpected rain last night, so everything got wet because we left it out because we didn't think it would get in the rain. But I think we're still good. Just gonna be a little bit wet and damp today. Uh, so let's get started. The next step is gonna be bending the support frames, which are metal conduit. Yes, we are getting meat chickens. Yay! We are so excited. Uh, we've thought, of, thought about it for a while and just haven't really taken, taken the, the plunge. plunge. <laughs> but <laughs> we did. We ordered them. So now we're doing this, ch this chicken tractor. And um, yeah. yeah, it's going good so far. Yeah. But we want to just take a moment real quick in this video to talk about why we're doing meat chickens and what breed. Yeah. So... Yeah, so why we're doing it, for me, obviously, I like to know where our food is coming from and what is in it, um, and just to know the quality of the meat that we're getting. Yeah. So, and the price of organic chicken, free range chicken, whatever kind of chicken you eat, even none of those is going up. So, <laughs> hopefully, we'll save some money. Yes, so we ordered from Murray McMurray. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about them, so very excited about it. They have a breed, I think if I remember correctly, it is a heritage breed, but it might be kind of a cross with a heritage breed, but it is called the Big Red Broiler. Um, very similar, if not the same as Freedom Ranger, if you've heard about those. So these act a little bit more like chickens than your typical Cornish cross. Um, they do take a little bit longer to grow out, but from what we understand from multiple sources, the flavor is just so much better yeah. so that's what we're really going for for me if we're going to take the time to raise our own food and we have the option of doing like a better quality uh then i'm gonna go with that yeah, so. which i think cornish cross if you're raising them it's yeah. gonna taste great anyway yeah. uh anything that you raise is gonna be better than the grocery store so i should say if we have the option to have superior yes. quality yeah. yeah we'll go that route right. um which is also the reason why i was so particular about trying to get a very high quality pork when we were going to do pigs and not just go out there and buy whatever pig was most convenient. Yeah. So um, it's just kind of a what we like to do out here yeah. and our mindset. So yeah, so I'm very excited about getting them, trying them out and seeing how it goes. I'm thinking we will probably continue to do this uh, on a yes. very regular basis. Yep. So let's get back to that chicken tractor build. Yes. All right, time for the ultimate test. Let's see if this thing is Joe Strong. <laughs> Woo! Looks pretty strong. All right, so we felt like there were a ton of benefits to doing a chicken tractor, which is why we wanted to do a chicken tractor. This particular one is coming from this book right here. 
There you go. Um, Great book by John Suskovich. I think that's how you say his last name. I would strongly suggest getting this book or borrowing this book because it makes building this thing super so easy. easy. Yes. So easy. He gives you a very detailed supply list and you have very little waste yes. based on the measurements that he makes this thing, which is always a huge plus. And then the step-by-step -step how to's are super easy. It doesn't take a ton of skills. It's no. taken us, by the time we get this thing wrapped with the wire, which is the only thing we have left and the tarp, um, it'll be, we'll probably have about three hours in it, yeah. maybe three and a half but I would say probably closer to three hours in it. And to have a whole like fully constructed, covered, really well made chicken tractor, that's amazing. Yes. The reason we wanted to do a chickens in a chicken tractor is because they're mobile. You can move them around. And so you can have pasture raised poultry yes. without just having them chaotically free ranging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you know anything about meat birds, they're I mean, chickens in general aren't necessarily the smartest birds. Then you take that IQ level down probably two or three more notches and you got your meat birds. So you really do want to keep them confined um, in a space that they can be protected. But the drawback to that is unless you have a chicken tractor, they're just sitting on the same ground. The other benefit of this is we get to move them around the yard and get free fertilizer. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Um, so, other things, we, yes, we will put wheels on them. That's a good point. We are going to put wheels on this also because yes. that's how you move it. Yeah. And good question, Josiah. <laughs> which makes it very easy for like someone like me to move if I needed to move them while Jeremy was at work or whatever. But the one thing I did want to say, these, this was so easy to make that I'm sitting here thinking of other things that we could put in something like this. Like, I have dreams of having a rabbit colony. We right now our rabbits are in hutches. They rabbits love to jump. They love to be able to be a little more mobile than a hutch allows. This and, would give them more space yeah. where they could run and they could live in a colony, which would be more like what they would have in the wild. So to me, there's also the appeal of being able to go in and sit with the rabbits and kind of just hang out with the rabbits, which yes. our kids love to do. Yeah, and my biggest drawback is why we haven't done a rabbit colony so far is because one, containment and a safe containment, mm -hmm. and two, just trying to keep their area parasite free as yeah. possible because in a traditional rabbit colony, they're on the same ground. And so parasites load can build up. Uh, this will prevent that because we can constantly be moving them around. Yeah. Again, free fertilizer on the lawn, orchard, wherever we may have them. Right, so, right. I huge think, plus. So I think that would be a great alternative if you are interested in doing a rabbit colony but are concerned about parasites. Yes. Dogs are playing and hopefully they will not knock over the camera. Yeah. Um, they refuse to go anywhere else. Anyway, so we um, got a fair amount done. We did. All we really need to do now is the tarp and the bottom. So. so the plans don't call for putting any kind of fencing along the bottom like ground, but we have had issues with our dogs trying to dig under yes. previous tractors that we've had, so we want to make sure we're really taking all the precautions to keep them safe. So we are going to do that. Yeah. Um, but in general, this is a very easy, very well-made chicken tractor. Yes. Well, but, we missed highs and lows last weekend because it was a crazy weekend, but we yes. are going to do them this weekend. Yes. So highs and lows. Highs and lows. I'm going first. Oh, I knew you would. Go ahead. You so, know, whenever she goes first, it's easy and we have a similar one, so go ahead. My high, I don't know if this is similar, but my high is that we are getting our meat chickens. Like I've been wanting okay. these for a long time. So we ordered them and made this chicken tractor and I'm just really excited about it. 
So that was my high this week, ordering these chickens. We don't have the same we high. We don't have the same high. <laughs> my low is probably that... Um, so I don't really have a low this week. Ooh. Okay. So my high is different, and um, Josiah, our youngest son, he had his last baseball game this week. That's not the high. <laughs> no. But... He got two hits. Yeah. And that was my high. He was so excited. So he went all season trying to get a hit. And this is his first time ever playing. Um, and it wasn't, he's in T ball level, but it was actually coach's pitch. And so that's yeah. a big step just to just yeah. start out at. Yeah. And last week, two weeks ago, he did get his first hit. He was so proud of himself. But the runner on the base was actually got tagged and it was a third out. So he didn't get to run the bases. But this game, he got. Two hits, he got to get on base, he got to run, and he was so proud of himself. And I yeah. was too. And, and his he, sisters yeah. were too. Because he has been so determined. Yeah, and he got the game ball, which was really fun he for him. He did get the game ball, yes, so. yes. Very, very special. Yeah. Um, I think my low was probably the fact that um, both of our dogs seemed to get sick. Uh, something was going on with them for yeah. for several days. They just were not themselves and had some eye stuff going on, and um, they never seemed to get worse. So we just really kind of monitored them closely, and they did rebound. They did fine, but um, just kind of that couple of days, they were just not themselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all that we have for you guys. Um, if you don't have meat chickens, I, I mean. From no experience, I would encourage you guys to get me chickens. Yes. Well, we have chickens, so yeah. how different can they be? Um, and definitely check out that chicken tractor, rabbit tractor, whatever you want to call it, tractor, whatever you want to put in there. I definitely think it is worth having if yes. you are going to go that route. So thank you guys so much for joining us once again. I hope you had a great week and be blessed.